to get baptized today because I want to follow Jesus' footsteps. I want to be baptized because I really want to be able to connect with the Lord through baptism. For Jesus to be in my life means, for me, it means to be at peace. God being with me means like I'm safe from any harm. Jesus is my closest friend because I could talk to him whenever I want. Jesus died for my sins because he forgives me mm -hmm. and he came into my heart. For Jesus to be the Lord of my life, it means that he, like, he's my mentor and he, um, guiding, he's guiding me around so he can help me from the good and the bad, he can help me to do the things I need. Jesus to me is like a person that I follow or love, like a family member, or he's like a parent, like a dad, and he loves us all, even if we make lots of mistakes. Jesus to me is like the most understanding friend I ever had. Whenever I tell him something, he never judges me, and he's always willing to take in whatever I'm saying, and he'll always understand that. My father um, was always inspiring us uh, for the word of Christ and uh, um, I always told us anything through God is possible. And um, I really, that message really uh, put an impact in my life and uh, I went to church and uh, I remember the first day I went to church, the, uh, the guy who was playing the guitar, um, who's normally in that position, couldn't attend church that day because he was uh, visiting his mother in Puerto Rico who was just diagnosed with cancer. And uh, that really uh, sent a, a very powerful message to me. And uh, yeah, yeah, that uh, really inspired me to be close to God. Just uh, about two years ago, my daughter got baptized and uh, she asked me to have an open mind. And uh, that's when I started to come into church. I've been doing rooted and a few Bible uh, women's Bible study uh, class and uh, all different activities. And uh, I kind of like, uh, I like to listen to other people's testimony about how they become believer. Because, because for me, like uh, the step from non-believer to believe, believer is a big step and uh, I just uh, you know some people it seems like uh, it happens in a click you know but for me it just uh, that step t uh, you know seems to take forever and uh, one day I my Bible study partner you know she was asking me to you know like uh, since you've been coming to church for so many times and uh, for so many different activities do you believe Jesus is a, a son of Lord I said yes I do and uh, she asked me do you believe that uh, Jesus was raised from the dead you know three days after his death I said, yes, I do believe. And then she said, you are a believer already. I want to get baptized today because I, because I want to follow Jesus. I feel like I need to do and I want to do for myself, for my healing, for my growing, and just to have Jesus closer to my heart and to my family. I want to get baptized today because I've been building my relationship with the Lord really strongly. And I think that baptism is the next step for me. We celebrate today this amazing gift of baptism. We had an incredible service at the 930, so you won't see all who were in the video accounted for, but I assure you they were baptized. And I'm going to now invite uh, our brothers and sisters who are here uh, to be baptized in this service to come on up and take your place. We're going to, yeah, praise be to God. Come on up. They're going to recite some vows, or at least confirm some vows. The first two you'll say, I do. The last two you'll say, it is. And I want you to listen closely uh, to what is being said, uh, because I want you to f uh, confirm and affirm this with your full heart as you step into those waters of baptism. I love you guys. My family, do you have a clear witness from God? 
that you are his child through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord? Do you renounce all connection to the kingdom of darkness, severing ties with any carnal or demonic stronghold, and renouncing all curses that the enemy of your soul might use to bring you down? The response here is it is. Is it your earnest and sincere desire to follow Christ Jesus in death to self and to walk with him in newness of life as symbolized in this glorious rite of baptism? Lastly, is it your intent to ask for a fresh impartation of the Holy Spirit for life, purity, power, and witness in, the act, in this act of consecration. Praise be to God. Put your hands out, if you would, in a posture of receiving. My God, our King, our Rock, our Savior, our firm foundation, the one on whom we stand, the one on whom we rely, the one on whom we depend, the one in whom uh, my brothers and sisters are declaring full allegiance to today. We worship you. And I pray, God, that by your spirit you would seal the work being done today, my God, that uh, they would walk in newness of life, God, recognizing that uh, this glorious rite of baptism uh, is not uh, a graduation, but it is a commissioning, uh, that it is about what is to come, not just what is behind. So I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would fill them uh, even as they enter the waters of baptism. Baptize them in your spirit, my God. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all may go in the back and get ready. This is one of my favorite days of the year, and it's really awesome doing it in the Sunday morning service. Uh, because everybody who's going to enter those waters is saying, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Christ who theologically is the God-man, who physically was crushed for our iniquities and sin, who emotionally uh, felt the anguish uh, to the point that he was sweating drops of blood, who spiritually became sin, he who knew no sin, became sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God, Jesus cosmically, who is restoring all things to himself, who is going to remake the heavens and the earth and by his resurrection declares and guarantees uh, that there is eternity to come. Jesus, personally, our brothers and sisters today are saying, I am his and he is mine. And as long as I am breathing, I will worship Jesus. Let's baptize our brothers and sisters, my family. Because of your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because of your profession of faith, 
It's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Based on your profession of faith, it is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Based on your profession of faith, it is my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 